Hey, what's going on Capricorn? How are you? Antoine here. We're going to go ahead and go over your love and romance messages for the end of May of 2022. These messages will be for all placements of Capricorn from the 21st through the 31st of May. Um, you guys also, this could be for those of you who are dealing with the Capricorn as well. Keep in mind these messages are general, so they won't resonate to everyone. Just take what does, leave what doesn't. And let's go ahead and get into it. As always, we will pull a message from the Oracle and then we'll clarify around it using the tarot and then we'll get more Oracle messages for advice later on. What does Capricorn need to know? Okay, so it might be some complications going on. I saw that card pop up. What does Capricorn need to know uh, in love, romance, and relationships? Okay. I don't know. That, one's a, that one was a little timid to come out, but I don't know. We'll see. So connection. Okay, so there is a connection that is coming forth for you, Capricorn. Are you nervous? Are you scared about it? I feel like you might be. Um, I feel like uh, might be a certain anxiety surrounding it, okay? Um, not that this person doesn't make you feel good or that this, or you don't feel, you know, you don't feel alive or you don't feel a spark or a connection between this person. I just get this feeling that, you know, you might be a little bit afraid to take it there. You might be a little bit reluctant to do that. Uh, the way that card just kind of slid and glide out, you know, it, it's like it's, mm, I don't know if you necessarily want to do it. Um, it might be because, you know, there's a great friendship attached to this connection, okay? And you don't want to ruin that. Um, or there could be other reasons, but we'll go ahead and see what's going on. But I do feel like that there is a great possibility for a love connection to be made. Possibly maybe even a reconnection uh, for some of you because, you know, it is uh, Mercury retrograde. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull some tarot and uh, clarify the energies here. Messages for Capricorn. Okay. Yeah. All right. At the base Capricorn, we've got the Hermit. Okay. Hermit, we got the Six of Pentacles. All right. Five of Pentacles here at the top. Knight of Pentacles. Ooh. Wow. Lots of heavy energy surrounding you. You know, let me tell you what I feel, uh, Capricorn. I feel like in your past, I feel like in your past things have been, have been unfair. Okay. You have given more than you received. All right. And so now that you're in this new connection, I do get this feeling that is like, you're like, okay, I'm going to sit, I'm going to wait, I'm going to, you know, I'm just, or I'm going to, um, it's not like you're ignoring it, but it does feel like you're just contemplating or just deciding whether or not you really want to go there. Okay. Because you may still be healing, you know, we got the five and the six, so you may still be healing from the past. Okay. Even if you're over that person from your past, you may not be necessarily over the particular situation that that person put you in. That person may have put you into some financial hardships. That person may have put you, that old person, may have put you in some sort of like unfair situation financially, okay? And so you're like, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna spend some time alone. I'm gonna be by myself. I'm not gonna necessarily take relationships seriously. Um, it'll come to me when it comes to me. I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm just gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like. I got my pinnacles, uh, whatever. You know what I mean? That's kind of how it feels here, Capricorn, and I'm not even going to lie. And this is like, it's all your energy. It's all, it's all uh, Earth energy here, okay? We've got the Page of Cups under the deck. We've got the Three of Swords, and then we've got the Ten of Swords. Okay, now we do have the Sun card coming out here as well. I did want to say that. So there is a chance that some, some kind of positivity is somewhere, right? And maybe it'll show up here as we keep going along, but... We do have the Page of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Hmm. You remember how I said this could be some sort of like reconnection? I think that that's what, I think this is exactly what this is. This is maybe some sort of reconnection. This person is coming back to you, but it's, you thought it was over or you already had made steps to like get over the situation and heal. And this person feels like they are, it feels like th this person is re-triggering all of that, all of that energy. 
um, you're questioning, like, why are you coming to me? Why are you trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you um, bringing me, uh, like, you know, it's like, what are you trying to apologize for? Or what are you trying to offer me? It's like, you, you don't know why they're showing up. You don't know why they're there trying to offer you something. You ended it or, or they ended it right before. But somebody wants a reconnection. Somebody definitely wants a reconnection, Capricorn. Mm, I feel like the sun energy, it could be telling me that they might have seen the error of their ways. Like they may have become enlightened to the, the, the way that they treated you and they may be wanting to make amends. They may be wanting to um, sow seeds onto you to show you that, hey, like, listen, I am, I do want to be fair or I do want to give you back what you feel, you know, you deserve. You know what I mean? But I don't know if you necessarily are, you know, I feel like the same way, you know, you're, you were here, right? You're sitting in, in you're sitting in the same, the a similar position here. You know what I mean. The only difference here is that now you have more knowledge. You know. Um, hell, the sun. You know what I mean. And you're almost kind of sitting in front of the sun, blocking it in a way on that card. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and pull some advice because I definitely feel like somebody is trying to come back to you, but they are. Trying, I feel like they are trying to make amends. They are trying to make the situation better. But I think the only thing that you can see is the pain still. Okay, let's pull some advice. What else does Capricorn need to know about the situation? All right. Vibrations. Guide. There's your lantern right there. So you may need to be... You may need to... Uh, Find, okay, you may need to find a meditative state and you may need to go ahead and just ask your spirit guides for guidance, right? I think that you still love an individual. And even if this has nothing to do with an ex, it could just be someone that you know or it could just be, um, you know, someone who, uh, for whatever reason, like triggers some past pains that you haven't dealt with fully yet, okay? But whatever it is, like you are going to be reaching out to your guides, trying to figure out the best way for you to, to approach or for you to go about the situation. Um, hmm. There's too many cards. Let's go ahead and pull some more energy. Or just give me one more card, Spirit, please. Just one more, please. <laughs> that was like literally 15 cards. Just one more, please, Spirit. One card. All right, I guess Spirit ain't got nothing else to say. Spirit said, I said what I said. Yeah. During this time that you're contemplating, that you're sitting with yourself, I see you asking yourself, all the stuff that I went through, all the stuff that I felt slighted, and all the ways that I felt, that I felt things were unfair in the previous time that we were connected, you may be asking yourself, what is different about this person now to where they say they can't, they won't make me feel that way again? Okay? That might be something that you might want to go into prayer about or, you know, asking your gods or, or universe about. Okay? I feel like some of you may even want to kind of pay, give the person the same energy they gave you, right? Like, nah, I'm not going to give you a chance to do right by me. No, I'm going to give you the energy you gave me. You know what I mean? Bye. You know what I mean? Um, hell, that might even be the most liberating option for you to do, especially to stay in line with this Ten of Swords, because I feel like with this Ten of Swords and this Three of Swords, you were already healing. Vibrations, God, the Hermit, you were already healing. And this person comes back around, you know, bringing up old emotions and energies again. I don't know if you are ready to go back into that yet, Capricorn. I just don't know. I don't know if you can do it. But you're strong. And if you do, you know, I wish you the best. So Capricorn, let me know how it's working out in the comment box below. Thank you so much for your time and support, positivity, your love. And uh, I'll see you guys later on. Oh, no, it's the end of May. I'll see y'all in June for your love messages then. All right? Take care.